still don't get it. We've been here hours and we ain't caught one. The whole point of fishing isn't what you catch. It's to be right in the elements, putting your wits against a wild creature. Bollocks. It's all about patience, Jay. It's all about getting your ass numb, more like. So you don't fancy doing it again, then? I didn't say that, did I? Bloody old Dad. Here. All right, Stuart. Steady, steady, steady. Jamie. Here, what time oh, do you call this boy? Here, come on. Here, come on. Yeah. Grab that camera there, Jay. It's, it's tiny. Is it a fish? Look, I'm sorry, it's not a fish. Is it? <laughs> Brilliant. Got it? Yeah. Say whopper, Jay. Whopper. I need to get the other way, Kelly. I was only asking you. I was just down the pub, Mum. Yes, I know you was down the pub. You all right, Mum? You all right, Jay? You all right, Kel? What's that? It's dinner. Oh, my God, you actually caught one? Of course. Well, I'm not cooking it. No, you're all right. That made me throw it back. Good. You got on all right, then? Yeah. That's great. Maybe you should do it again. Yeah, we're going to make it a regular thing from now on. Oh, right. Well, it's about time, eh? Oi, who said you could borrow this? Who said I couldn't? Oh, Jay, come here! Keith! Are you all right, Wayne? All right, bruv. You going to see Mum? Yeah, she's cooking me dinner. All oh, right. What are you up to? I'm going up to me, show and Jez. Jez got me a bottle of that cheap scotch. Oh, yeah. It's for Nat. It's her birthday next week. Anyway, see you yeah. later, mate. Oh, Wayne, lend us a bus fare. Yeah, nice try. See you later. See you later. I want you to get him home and get him on that All right, bus. all right. Mum is going to go mad. Come on, mate, come on. <coughs> oh, what have you been playing at, really? <laughs> L-I-V, E-R-P, double O, L, Liverpool, F-C. Oi! Oh, look at my sexy face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you look fit for some Davey loving, didn't you? Yeah. Do you reckon? Now I'm going to get some chicken. I'm hungry. Are you getting chicken for? You want beef first, didn't you? Give us a bite. Give me a kiss first. I think you're buying, yeah? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, send that. Come on, Ellen. What about them cheese, mate? <laughs> what? Jay, leave it. Look at the size here. Come to me if you want something a bit bigger, yeah, babe? Oh, oh I didn't have that. Do you know what you just said? <laughs> say that again, mate. Say that again. Hey, bro, 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 bro. What do you say? What? What are you laughing at, mate? Hey, mate, why are you running up your mouth, like? Say that again. What are you saying, bro? Get off me. Come. Come on, mate. Come over here, then, mate. What's Don't the matter with your pussy on, man? Let's look at you, bro. What do you think you're bloody or saying? Hey, come, man. Step over the road, man. Did you have my bird for you, huh? You're right. Did you have my bird? Look at him, man. Jay, Jay, right here, come on. What are you doing, man? Come on, mate, say something. He's a pig, mate, that's what he is. He's a dirty bastard, bro. What's your problem? What's your Oh, look at the kid. He's a dirty bastard. What's wrong with you, bro? Come on, mate. Jay, not here, we've got to get out of here. We've got to get the bus, all right? Piss off. Wankers, yeah? 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 Wankers, y
I will need to check the records all the same. I'm Stuart Robey, you've got my son here. Oh, yes, sir. Your family's just through there. Can you hold the mic? Please? Where's Jimmy? If you'd just like to hang on a minute, I'll get the doctor for you. Stuart. What's going on? What happened? See, I thought he was behind me. I didn't know they got him. I didn't know who got him. These lads. I don't know what you were doing up there that time of night anyway. I was bringing him home. He got a bit pissed up. Pissed? What do you mean, Jimmy? He doesn't drink. No, he started in that scotch. I tried to stop scotch? it. Scotch? What are you talking about, George? Yeah, what are you talking Stuart about? Rogers. Scotch? Mr. Rowe. What? What's happening? Mr. Rowe, I'm very sorry, but... He's dead, isn't he? I'm very sorry. Look, we did everything that we could for him, but... Witnesses. Questioned quite a few people, some of the local residents, uh, the officers are working on that as well. Do you know how many of these, uh, these boys there were? Several, but as to exactly how many, I don't know. Oh, my God. I'll get back to you. Hello, Tony. How you doing? So, what's what? Well? OK, we've got uh, a teenage lad from Catford, just up the road at his sister's, drinking. His sister's boyfriend walking into a bus stop. 
and go up in Libya with some local lads. Threw up in that doorway. And got killed for it? There's nothing exceptional in London these days, is it? He took a terrible beating by the sounds of it. Fists, feet, and he found uh, fragments of pork around the blood here. What do you reckon, Nick? Well, it's a busy street. Takeaway shop still open. Passers by, probably. Must have been a few local residents about. We should have more witnesses than we know what to do with. Oh, really? All over by the weekend, then. Well, there's got to be someone. Oh, yeah. You'd think so, wouldn't you? All these windows overlooking the whole place. I mean, there must have been a lot of noise, mustn't there? <laughs> yeah. I've got something. Can I have your name, please, madam? Carol Huggins. And do you live around here, madam? Yeah, just over there. Why'd you ask? Well, there was a murder committed on this estate last evening. Just wondered if you'd seen anything. Nah, sorry. I was in bed at the time. I didn't hear nothing, and I didn't see nothing. Yeah, that's obvious. So you know most of the faces on the estate, then, yeah? All right, Tim? Yeah, must well, mate, Aiden. Well, if you do anything, give me a shout down the street. No, no, yeah. Well, there you go. Good morning, madam. My name's DC Sharp of Shooter's Hill Police Station. I just wonder if you could help me. There's an incident happened of a murder just down by Lower, uh, Lower Road. I just wonder if you could help me if you know anything that can help me at all. No. There must be something you heard or seen in the early hours of the morning. Nothing. Any kind of information whatsoever? Nothing. You Nothing. sure? You sure? Eat or what? Oh, I can tell you. I'm gonna get a couple of burgers, eh? Cheese burgers. What are you up to, yeah? You like having this day? What are you doing? 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 What He didn't see nothing because nothing happened. This thing's fucking fixed. Can you give us actual names, sir? You can. Yes, in complete confidence. OK, go ahead. John. Did you have a key of you? Tell me about the Osprey estate. Can you tell me about Council estate. But they just spent millions on it, believe it or not. Security cameras, entry phones, you name it. So, mixture of typical Bermondsey working class, you know, families, couples, old people. What about Lolo? Sorry, sir, about that. Got his fair share. Some thieving, some mostly drugs. This wasn't thieving or drugs. This was a gang of teenagers beating an innocent kid to death for fun. Well, they may be kids, but they got older mates. You know, connections to all sorts of faces down there. I mean, you look at some of them the wrong way, and it's not going to be easy. You got sources over there. Yeah. You get me some names. ASAP. Your yeah, name's here, Tony. Yeah. Seems like half the estate knows who's done it. Did you know any of the boys that Jamie was arguing with? No. Can you give descriptions? It was dark. It's a well-lit area. Mate, if I could help you, I would. What about the girl that was with him? Well, I told you she was wearing a white dress. That's all I saw. It wasn't my fault. I thought he was running too. I thought he was behind me. What, what, what would you do? The vicious little bastards on that estate, wouldn't you have legged it? Hi, right, Ellie. How you doing? All right. I'm fine. I, um... What? Do you mind if I... Just go in his room. Of course not.
और चेमे और चेमे माय सॉन्ग माय पॉय Bye-bye, Matt. Stuart, this is Di Cottis. He's in charge of the case. I'm so sorry. We're um, hopeful of making an arrest soon. And in the meantime, you've got my number. Any time, day or night, if you want to talk. I don't want to talk. I just want the animals that did this cotton polished. Well, it's the same names again and again. But the people giving these names won't give their names, right? Right. Well, suddenly they get an attack of amnesia, and they're not so sure they saw what they first thought they saw. And the guys in the kebab shop are still claiming they saw nothing. Well, Stevie Wonder couldn't have missed it from that close. Us, John. Those names. I got some. Good. Let's play snap, shall we? Yeah, but not here, eh? I don't know how Custer felt. Aaron Cole. Yeah, got it. James Pierce. Two. David Huggins, Ryan Morville, four, Solomon Inkster and Stephen Plank. A full house. Yeah, there were maybe a couple of others, but they were just watching. How confident are you about this, Six John? Hard to say. Let's pick them up. All right, fellas. Cheers, Tom. All right, sit yourself down. This interview is going to be tape recorded and may be used in evidence should your case go to trial. Officers present at DC Faraday, Shooters Hill Police and DC Glenister. Do you think it's funny? I mean, do you think it's a laughing matter that someone's been killed? OK, so just to be clear in my mind, David, what you're saying is that you weren't on the Osprey estate on the night of the 7th. I was in Catford. Like, with my uncle, is that, is that such a crime, is it? No, that's not a crime, David. I didn't think so. Can you tell us why you've been staying with your uncle? I've been arguing with her, haven't I? Just get out of her ear. I'm more crumbit in Catford as well. <laughs> I can soon wipe that smile off your face. And now you're gonna do that, bro, eh? That's enough, Aaron. You've got no sympathy with Mr. and Mrs. Robe then, James. <laughs> no comment. You're not even slightly concerned that there are. No only... comment. So if this was one of your family, you wouldn't be moved at all. No comment. It's just somebody else's child. 17 years old. We're not talking about theft or burglary or shoplifting No here. comment. So you weren't involved in the assault on Jamie Robe and you don't know anybody who was? No, nothing. I did ask him if he does know anything. And he swears on his sister's baby who's Down syndrome that he doesn't. I swear. And I believe him. I see. Any comments you wish to make? Nope. No comment. No comment. No comment. Making no comment just leads me to believe that you were actually involved in the murder or know something about it. Don't you think, Solomon, that if a group of youths beat a boy to death with sticks, crush his ribs and crush his skull by stamping on his head, don't you think that makes them cowards? Because that's what I think. I think they're nothing. Nothing but cowards. Are you a coward, Solomon? No comment. Now, you and me go back a long way, don't we? Yeah, whatever, man. So how do you know about the incident? I heard about it. The hell? In the papers. Which papers? No comment. We'll have to let him go, aren't we? Thank you. Quite all right. No problem. Oi, come and say thank you. Good luck to you. Yo, cheesy. Yeah, you're right, bro.
We therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, who shall fashion anew the body of our humiliation, and that it may be conformed to the body of his glory, according to the working whereby he is able even to subject all things unto himself. Amen. 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 Stuart, I hope that man is coming along today. Don't stirt me. That's my boy in that grave. You told me you were going to have the bastards that did this and you let them go. Well, we're having difficulties persuading people to come forward and identify them. Fuck off with your excuses. Have you got kids? Yes, I have, yeah. What would you do if it happened to one of yours? It must be horrific. You have no idea. You can't imagine because you're just not interested. You think that Jamie was just a wee nobody and people will forget. Well, we can't forget. Ever. Stuart, please leave it. Tony, leave it. He's upset. Piss off you. Stuart, you're wrong. I do care. I don't believe you. Well, that's up to you, mate, but it's the truth. Look, we have to shame people into coming forward and telling us what they saw. We've got to kickstart this thing somehow, Stuart. It's the only way. For you, merely. What's that supposed to mean? Me and I get an iron bar and I go down there and do to them what they did to Jimmy. I didn't hear that. Look, look, please. Just tell me we can do this together. The police said they'd do some proper okay. ones Look, for us. Look, if we're going to do this, we're doing it all right. Your way, you mean? Huh? Wayne? He's doing what the police asked him. Oh, he's just pissing in the wind. I feel sorry for the going out. Keith? You coming? Suit yourself, then. See? Drawn into it. It's good, isn't it? Realise the consequences. Of course you do. You know who you're married to, and who you're not. Oh, no, sir. Oh! 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 Yeah, we're well, not ones like that. Who says? You'll have to ask the manager. Where is he? Not about. Listen, mate. No, you listen, mate. My boy got beaten to death out there. And everyone around here knows who did it. Mate. And there must be some people in here tonight who saw it happen. And if they've got any balls, they'll come forward. Do you hear me? What is wrong with you people? Listen, mate, I'll shut up and buy a pint or get out. I haven't come here for a pint. I've come to put this up. <laughs> yes, and have a drink, Steve. Thank you. His sister later rose in the spot where he was murdered, beaten to death by a gang of thugs. His family have returned to the Osprey estate in the hope that they can break down the wall of silence which has surrounded his death. And as Stuart Rove, Jamie's father, puts up posters appealing for help, he said of those who murdered his son, They've destroyed my life, these people. I can't allow them to destroy other people's lives. It's too late for Jamie now. But unless people come forward, unless they speak out, it's going to happen again and again. Get in touch with the police for Jamie's sake. I must stress that if people do come forward with information, we can guarantee their safety. We have specialist witness protection officers to look after them. This was a truly horrendous crime that shocked even hardened police officers. I can't emphasize enough the brutality of this murder. Jamie Rope was a decent, kind boy. His family had been devastated. Earlier this morning, copies of the Daily Mirror were delivered to every home on the estate. The newspaper has offered a reward of...
The uh, principal items for discussion tonight are refuse collections and the ongoing drains issue at Egret House. However, prior to that, the police have requested a brief word about the um, Jamie Robe incident. The officer leading the inquiry, D.I. Cottis, has asked to address you personally, and under the circumstances, the committee had no alternative but to agree. All right then. Um, <clears throat> Jamie Robe was just an ordinary boy. He wasn't a troublemaker. He could have been my son or yours. His only crime was to be out late at night, a bit drunk, okay, and insult certain people who we believe live on this estate. And for that, they killed him. They beat him mercilessly to death. His parents are in, in anguish. Now, there are certain people in this room now, or their friends and family, who must have seen or heard the attack. If you have any information at all, please phone us in total confidence. Thank you for listening. Thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you. Okay, item one, refuse collections. As you know, I've been pressing the council to send someone down here to address us in person over this issue. I've so far had no success, but I think we're all agreed. Are you running off too big? Try pushing some other angles. Such as? What about giving Gerard Dillon another go? Yeah, if we can find him. Yeah. What about, um, the girl he saw, uh, the one that was kissing David Huggins? Well, all we know about her is she was wearing a white dress. She could be anyone. She could be Madonna for all we know. And we don't even know if she saw the murder. Now, the only people we know for certain who both saw it and know the killers well enough to identify them are the Turks in the kebab shop. Yeah, I know, Tony. I'll keep sending people in there, man. We saw nothing, we know nothing. Maybe we should have a go at ourselves. Hello, everybody. I'm uh, Ian Ashby. Would you like to climb my hooker pipe? <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> DC Ashby, South a Place. I just want to have a brief chat uh, with Mr. What's your name? Is it Dermus? Dermus? Dermush? Dermush? Dermush. Police. Mermit. Mermit. D.I. Cottage, Shooters Hill. I just wondered if you might have reconsidered. I have nothing to say. Jamie was a lovely kid. Look, this is him, age 15. No, sorry, I'm not saying nothing. We saw nothing. Just one minute, you have nothing to say. Sorry. His parents are devastated. His mother cries herself to sleep every night. And I feel sorry for her, but I can't help. No. 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 
No, no, no. Look, Dermot, wait, look, hold on, look. Hold on a minute. No one wants to pester you, all right? Then go away, then. It's just that we're trying to be logical about this, and logic tells us that the murder happened in full view of your shop window. He was screaming in agony. He was begging for them to stop hitting him, begging. Look, Dermish, I was there with his dad when they identified the body. Jamie was... He was almost unrecognisable. They split his liver in two. These people are cowards. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what they're like? So you do know these people, then? I didn't say that. No, that's what it sounded like to me. They come in your shop, then. No, I can't help nothing to say. I'm sorry. Proper team then, eh? You on? Yeah, yeah. What's the score? Bastards! Bastards! I'm finding the police one. What are they going to do? I know they know where I live, but I never thought the bastards would come down here. You don't know. It's them, Stuart. Of course it's them. What's happened before? What? They shout the house at night. They throw stones at the windows. Oh, why didn't you tell me? Well, what's it matter? <laughs> Nothing's mine nice since they killed him. Nothing. Um, it's all right. All right. <laughs> hey, come on, love. Hey, Look, Dad, just go on. I can't leave her like this. What do you care about her? Oh, did you really care about don't Jamie? Stop really? this. What do you mean? Oh, please don't start this. I want to know what he means. Well, you hardly come near Jay when he was alive, did you? That's, that's far more broke up. Your mum and me thought I was. Oh, you think that's any up. kind of excuse? What? Just don't think I regret not. That's at least then it's all. Oh, Jamie was my world. My life's not worth living since he's died. If you really loved him. If you was a proper father, you'd have done something about those animals. I am trying to do something about those animals. I'm chipsing around that fucking estate every night, yeah, putting those put animals up. Fake little posters for them to tear down. All right, my man is enough. I'm sorry. No, no, no. He's right. I'm a better father to Jimmy now than when he was alive. Oh Christ! That is all I need. What? You feeling sorry for yourself? I'm tired, Stuart. Go oh, home. It's council repair number, phone them. 
you. That will tidy up. We're all right. Go on. Really, I can't Please. know. We are. We're fine. Go on. DC Ashby. Hey, and it's Tony. Tony. Any joy? Someone's phoned into the incident room. Uh, said they knew the gang. Didn't have anything specific on the killing, but I asked her if uh, David Huggins had a girlfriend, or at least someone she knew well enough to be kissing at the time he saw Jamie. Um, she came up with her name. Tracy Brown. Mrs. Brown. Lives with her mum at Free Pie Street, SE 16. What? Is your daughter at home? No, Tracy don't live here now. Can you tell me where she is? She's not in any trouble, Mrs. Broughton, but I do need to speak to her very urgently. It's about the murder of Jamie Rowe. Are you deaf? Tracy ain't here, OK? She could be anywhere. Well, you must have some suggestions. This was an horrendous crime. It was the worst injuries I've ever seen. Hello, Mrs. Broughton. It's me again. Don't look so pleased to see me. I just want to ask you some questions again. I've got nothing to say to you. Yeah, I heard you. Now, why did Tracy leave home? <laughs> we had a fallout. She's always doing it, tearing off somewhere. Well, to friends, relatives, where? I don't know. Well, you must have some idea. No. Well, I don't believe you. Well, that's your problem. That's your problem as well, Mrs Brown, cos I'm not going to go away. Do you understand me? I'm going to follow you all round the supermarket until I get a decent answer to a decent question. So what do you want? Lemon or lime? Oh, lemon, is it? Because I will find her, Jeanette. And whether it's in a pub or a supermarket, no matter how embarrassing the circumstances, I will speak to her. I might be able to find her. But she ain't going to talk to you. OK. Who will she talk to? There was this guy, Simon, he helped us out with a few family problems. He's an MP. Your local MP? Yeah. Mr Hughes, D.I. Cottis. This is D.C. Ashby. Morning. Well, it's coming to something when we have to ask an MP to help solve a murder. Yeah. Well, I've helped the family before. Tracy had a problem at school. Let's hope I can do so again. Just give me five minutes with me. Sure. It'll be fine, Tracy. We've talked things over in general terms. Tracy said she is prepared to talk directly to you. Well, Tracy, you know why we're here. On the 7th of August last year... I weren't there. You weren't where, Tracy? When they killed him. So where were you? Now, we have a witness who says he saw a young woman matching your description near the scene wearing a white dress. Would that be you? Maybe, but I didn't see nothing. The witness said you were kissing a boy, David Huggins. That ain't true. Do you know David Huggins, Tracy? Maybe. Here on Cole? James Pierce. Solomon Inkster? Look, I didn't see nothing. If I was kissing David, it would have been in the pub. He was in the pub then? Yeah. And what time did you leave? I don't know. Late. Jamie was killed just after one. The pub closed at 11.30. Oh, so I'm lying then, am I? Well, ourselves to you then, all of you. Trace. I'm sorry. No, 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 it's, uh, give us something to go on. Yeah, we'll keep out. Is there any other way in which I can help? Not unless you happen to speak Turkish. No, but I know a man who does. He's a used car salesman. I sorted out a few tax problems for him. Want to give him a ring? Get back to you. I appreciate it. What are you playing at? It was my fault! You are embarrassing yourself and you are embarrassing me! It's not for You're unbelievable! Yeah, all right then! Fuck off!
Mehmet Duymuş Hasan. Simon Hughes. The thing I need to stress is that nothing you tell me will be passed on to the police unless you want it. Ona anlatacaklarınızı polise aktarma yapacağını söylüyor. We saw everything between us. Everything. And we will tell you because you are an important man. But if we tell the police and these kids find out but the police have advised that there are measures they can take in these cases, in including relocation. Yes, but that may be no good to us. Why? Mr. Elaine, dayın bu memlekede kaç ay kalıyor? Günün vizesinin günü bitti. They say he's overstayed his visa. They're terrified that if they help you, he'll be deported. I know who they are. Hobbins. Cole. Pierce. Inkster. How do you know their names? You don't need to be Sherlock Bloody Holmes. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. We can't charge any of them yet because the uh, forensics are a bit weak and um, we are having problems with some of the witnesses. I mean, it's been addressed, but it's, it's ongoing. It seems that one of them may have to be deported. Another. Easy, Stuart. Don't give me any more of your shite. This is it, isn't it? It's as far as you go. No. I am not giving up on this. Look, I don't care if they take all my men, even if it's just me and a desk and a bloody typewriter, I am not giving up on this. Get out of my way. What do you want? Remember the other night you were saying about doing something about those fucking animals? Yeah. We're gonna do it. Is Keith there? Yeah, he's here, yeah. What, are you serious about this? Are you up for this or not, Wayne? Yeah, I'm up for it, yeah. Right, we'll get over here now. Don't tell your mum. Let's do it. Come. You scared or something? No. Come on, let's go. If anything happens to either of these two, I will never forgive you. Come on, Keith, let's do it. Dwayne, you're not going nowhere. Here we are. No, you are not. Stuart, these people are killers. They don't stand a chance against them. Are you still up for this or what? Dad? What, are you losing your bottle now? Well? Go home, boys. You can't tell me what to do. Thank you. You're not my dad. You're not his real dad either. No, I'm Jamie's. And I raised you as if you're on my own. Now go home. Well, so we let him get away with it. Killing Jamie, smashing his family. Great. So much for justice. Oh, for God's sake, Wayne. Wayne, please. Go on. Keith, go. Go on.
you off to? I'm just going to help Mum. Trace? screaming for them to stop. They wouldn't. Even when they did, he was, he was still moaning. They ran off. And then David, Aaron and Solomon, they came back. Jamie was... He was sort of whimpering and... And then... No, I, I don't want to do the mum. No more, Tracy. <laughs> Tracy, I'll take your time. Oh You're doing really well. <laughs> Solomon went back to him. He went back over to Jamie and said, he, he said, I, I just, <laughs> I just want to make sure he's dead. <laughs> He jumped on Jamie's head three or four times and there was this sound like... Like, you know the noise when someone cracks their knuckles? I just can't... I just can't get it out of my... What do you mean? Right, would you say you had a clear view? And about what time was this? Approximately. I know. Oh, it's your birthday, for God's sake. So how'd it go with Tracy? Yep, yeah, it's all there. What she saw and who she saw. Although at first she swore it was another Huggins brother, the oldest one, Danny, that was there, not Ryan Morville. Well, Danny Huggins has never been a suspect. Yeah, I know, and uh, we've checked him out. There's no way he could have been there. He's got a solid alibi. So why did she say he was? Because Ryan's younger and she felt sorry for him. Shit. Well, we'll have to tell the defence she changed her statement. They'll have a field day. She's still a good witness, though. We'll have to relocate her. Yeah, for sure. Well... Bloody good birthday present. Oi! Why don't you get yourself a fucking life, mate? Oh, can I? My life ended when my boy got beaten to death out there. Oh, piss off, you sad bastard. I haven't heard from it for three days. Nor has the family. Stuart! It's Tony, mate! Stuart! Got some news for you! Stuart! There's no sign of life, Tony. All the curtains are drawn. He's in there, isn't he? Yeah. It's 
understood. Sorry. Oh, Stuart. Stuart? I'm not a man. I'm not a father. I can't grieve. Oh, mate. That's all right. That's it. It's all right. You... You just let it all out. He was a child who was loved and cherished. His cheerfulness and charm enriched the lives of all who knew him. And so on this, the anniversary of his death, we offer up our prayers for Jamie's everlasting soul. O oh God, grant to him the peace and joy and security that only you can give. May he remain forever secure in your tender care. And may your light shine down on the lives of all those who he, for now at least, has left behind. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Letter from the Immigration Office. They want to send Hassan back to Turkey. They're obviously worried that granting him citizenship would look like an inducement. Dai. Home office in Mekdu buna göre. Bundan sana sepeslik vermiyorlar. Ama biz gene de insanlığımızı yapıp mahkemeye çıkalım bence. It's sickening, I know. I'm going to speak directly with the minister. It might have some effect, but I can't guarantee anything. I suppose this means you won't be able to help us. No. We will help you. This boy's life must mean something. You'll give statements, go to court. If you can relocate us? Yes. That is our decision. Yes, of course. Ahmet. Bu memleket bizim dağıl. Bunların. Sor bakayım bu efendiye. Kendi insanları niye meydana çıkıp da ağızlarını açmıyor ha? My uncle would like me to ask a question. This is your country. Not ours. Why don't your own people stand up and come forward, huh? Oh, um, excuse me. I really appreciate what you're doing. Thank you very much. Hello? Yes, yeah, Tony Cottis for uh, Tracy. It's for you. Tony? Hello, Tracy? Yeah, I've seen it. It's a piss -o. And these goons, your so-called witness protection people, are telling me it's the best they can find. Listen to me. No, you listen! Jesus! I wasn't expecting no palace, but I wouldn't let a dog live here. Well, it can't be that bad. Yeah, it is. I've told them to take me home. Tracy! If you can't find me somewhere better than this, you can stick your statement up your ass. Oh, shit. She ain't happy. We're gonna lose her if we're not careful. Oh, I'm sure witness protection are doing their best. Oh, I'm sure they are. We're going to have to pitch in ourselves here, Ashburn. Do you think if we club together, we could afford a mobile phone? Not on my wages. Johnny Cottis? Yeah. Leigh yeah, Matthews. I'll be escorted around the N25. Oh, you met boys, get your hands dirty with witnesses. I thought you had specialists for this kind of thing. Normally we do. Oh, well, you managed to make yourselves very unpopular with our housing people. Oh, well, she's worth it. You all right, Tracy? About plenty time. See you, Trace. Cheer up. This is no bloody joke. So, one ounce. How many more does that leave to move? Well, let's see. We've got Dermis one, Lemon the family two, Lemon's mother and sister three. Hassan's going to stay with them for a while, so he's all right. Unless we don't get deported. 
Tracy's mum four, brother five, sister six, because no one wants to live with Tracy or each other. And then there's just a small matter of a new kebab shop for the Turks. Still ate it. Yeah, think of that potential, though. I'm homesick. It's bloody miserable. Give it time. You'll settle. Where'd you get that from, anyway? Santa. Piss off. Bought it yourself, did you? Well, let's just say he knows a man who knows a man who got him a good deal. You bought the fridge and the cooker too, didn't you? At your own money. <laughs> You're mental. Yeah, well, that's why the three of us get on so well. <coughs> I've got to get going, eh? <coughs> now, you'll be all right. Can I have nine? Now, this is for you. You can give me a ring any time, day or night. My number's programmed in now. All right? Yeah. Thanks. I'll need some carpet and all. Oh, we'll see what we can do. You want Axminster or Wilton? <laughs> Wait. Tony. From all of us. Happy Christmas and all that. Oh, thanks, mate. We appreciate all your efforts. I mean, maybe we didn't at first, but... How's your dad? If you don't get through this, it wouldn't be your fault. Well, now, have a good one, then. Yeah, you too, mate. Oh, right. Merry Christmas, mate. <coughs> Sorry. You better crack that open, mate. Just come off the phone to uh, Simon Hughes. It looks like uh, Hassan can stay after all. Plus, he says he knows a friendly bank manager, if you can believe that. And uh, he reckons he can sort out a loan for the Turks for their new business. Tony. Just been upstairs. We're going in. What? We arrest and charge all six. CPS thinks too much time's passed since it happened. And witnesses' memories fade. And... We haven't really housed the Turks yet. Well, it's not ideal. But, um... They might be right. Or well, when? As soon as. And I want it done properly. And I want all six. You can't go in there! David! David, I'm arresting you for the murder of Jamie Rowe. Now get up and get dressed. Let's go. Oh, Full house. Uh, four so far. Cole, Plank, David Huggins, Ryan Morville. No Solomon Insta. Why not? Well, surveillance saw him going home last night, but he must have slipped out again without them noticing. What about Pierce? No, no, no Pierce yet. No, don't worry about him. I know where he'll go. Well, put it this way, there's not so many gourmet restaurants on the Osprey. You gonna get him tonight or to... No, nah, he can't start the day without a burger. I'll do it first thing. Morning, Cheesy. Nice breakfast. What do you want, Whale? Oh, just asking. Do you have a nice breakfast? Yeah, all right. I'm good. James Pierce, I'm arresting you for the murder of Jamie Rowe. Huh? You do not have to say anything. But if you do say it, if you run off me! Shut up. If you do not Stay mention off, you bastard. something which you later rely on in court, bastard. it may harm your defense. Get some bloody of it. <laughs> Anything you do say. May be given in evidence. You ain't going to settle for this. One fine day, Cheesy. In about 20 years. Bloody white whale. <laughs> Bloody white. <laughs> Look, Solomon Inkster. Yes, DC John Whale. Uh, shoot us, he'll please. No, no, no. He's from this neck of the no, woods and he's um, gone AWOL. We're doing a, a photo ID. No, I've explained all this. Do I have to need about 70 students. Say everything twice? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, they're all mad. Well, when your governor gets back, perhaps you give, him, to give me a call, will you? Yeah. Thank you. Mm, it'll probably be the morning. No, 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 that's fine. Nothing on Inkster. How are oh, you doing? Not that great. Just no comments. Oh, what's with the Armani's? Oh, the, uh, the Turks for a wobbler when I told them the defence lawyers were going to be at the ID parade. 
So uh, I told them they could go in disguise. Good idea. It gets better. Okay, sir, if you'd like to take a seat. I'm going to run through a short tape. Okay, sir. Can you identify anyone from this tape? Could you tell me the number, please, sir? Number five. Tell me the number that appeared under the person's face that you identified, please. Nine. Is this the person that you identify as being present at that incident that night? Is that a yes? Yeah. Could you say it a bit louder, please? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so what do we got? Aaron Cole. Three out of four witnesses picked him out. James Pierce. Three out of four. David Huggins. Same, three out of four. Stephen Plank. Not so good. One out of four. One of the Turks. And uh, same for Ryan Morville. Only Tracy spotted him. Well, that's all right. We've got something on everyone. Good girl. Didn't she do well? David Huggins, you were charged on the 7th of August 1997 at Lower Road, Rover Ive. You did murder Jamie Robe, contrary to common law. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something that you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Come on. James Pierce, you were charged on the 7th of August 1997 at Lower Road, Rotherive. You did murder Jamie. Come on, sir. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something that you rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Yeah. Come on, Cheesy. Aaron Cole. All right, Tony. What are you having? A pint of bitter, please. On a pint of bitter, please. So what's the news? Well, we've charged them with murder. <laughs> Did you get them all? All except Solomon Inkster. The others are on remand, but uh, Inkster's done a runner. I'm sorry, but we're doing everything we can to track him down. Um, so what happens between the trial and now? What do we do? I've got to um, prepare the case and uh, keep the witnesses on site. Then we've cracked it, eh? Well, it's my job to get it to the court door. I mean, after that, who knows? Do you think they might be acquitted? Well, there's a chance. Some of the ID evidence isn't very good, especially against Plank and Morville. But look, we've got the best case we're ever going to get. I'm sure of that. Well, nobody would blame you. No one could have done no more. What I don't understand is... Now, you must have handled lots of murders in your time. How come you've done as much as you have done for Jimmy? I don't know. It's just a thing that happened to me. Come in. Tony, take a seat. We just wanted to express our appreciation of your work on the Jamie Rope case. Sir? I know this has been a very difficult investigation for you, but I think now's the time to start passing the ball. Thank you, sir, but we still have some way to go. My witnesses will need a deal of support in the run-up to the trial. It's listed for July. The Turks haven't even been rehoused yet. Tony. I don't want to detect in any way of the work you've put in up to now. But we have uh, specialist people to support the witnesses. Yes. There are other cases, other murders that also need your attention. 
Of course, you will oversee this case up to trial. But is this continued personal involvement with the witnesses appropriate? Is fitting washing machines really the best use of a detective inspector's time? Sir, I was just trying to keep her on side. I didn't choose these witnesses, sir. These were the only people with the guts to speak up. We're dealing with evil and vengeful people here. If I lose my witnesses, they're back out on the streets. They'll think they've won and they'll be right, won't they? Tony, getting emotional doesn't help. You've done a great job. And we're all hoping we get a good result. But... If we don't, don't matter, does it? Because Jamie Robe was just a poor little nobody from Bermondsey and we can quietly forget all about him. You know that's not what we're suggesting, Tony. Jamie Robe's life mattered. Maybe not to you, but to some people. I'm sorry. Sorry. Cottis. It's me. Tracy? There's someone outside. I was fucking watching the TV. There's a noise. There's someone fucking... I told you they were gonna get me. Look, nobody knows where you are, Tracy. My mate phoned me. She said David Huggins' friends had killed me. Well, David Huggins is inside, Tracy. They all are. Yeah, they're mates, ain't they? Look, you got to try and keep a sense of proportion. No, you fucking keep a sense of proportion. It's bad enough now. What would it be like in court? In court, you give your evidence behind screens. They still know it's me. Tracy. I can't fucking do this. I can't sleep. I can't fucking eat. My decision's final. I ain't fucking Tracy, doing this. listen. It's Tracy. For. And there's other people need you too. I know that. But I got all this paperwork to prepare for the CPS, and um, I just. It's all getting a bit. Yeah, mate. Hey, come on. You can come home if you like and have a hug with Mrs. Ashby too. I didn't mean like... Well, it may come to that, Ashbo, it may. Come in, come in. Just doing a spot of hoovering. Common session over for Jimmy came through. Six and a half grand. Not a lot to say, is there? You know what Jay wanted to do? Apart from play for Liverpool, that is. He never stopped dreaming about that. He wanted to work in a shoe shop. He did work experience selling shoes. He really liked it. Maybe that's why they've offered so little for his life. It's not much of an ambition, is it? Shoe shop. But he was a good boy. As decent as they come. You all right, man? I don't know if... I don't know if we're going to get this, Stuart. 
I mean, I'm trying. But... Yeah, he's got problems. I know you explain. I don't know if I can hold the witnesses. I gave them my word, all of them. I'd stand by them, but... I made a promise I can't deliver. That's not down to you. I know that. I'm sorry. I'll let you down. No, 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 Tony, you did not let me down. What would you do if, um, if it goes against us? He asked me if I told myself. I don't know. Honestly. We're not giving up yet. We just have to bloody well keep going, right? I'm beginning to wonder if I can. Of course she can. Look at me. We're not jacking this in, all right? I am. Um, I just wanted to say, well, you're a collection of complete assholes. But I'll do it. Over there, right? Okay. Oh. I can't bear with my name upstairs. <laughs> now they've got a lift now. Oh, lift day over mm. my cons, huh? Oh, yeah. The last time I was here, I was on a sex harassment. Did you get off? Yeah, you should have <laughs> You always arrested. <laughs> I found multiple blunt impact injuries to Jamie's face and trunk. These facial injuries were consistent with kicking, stamping, punching, and also from blows with a linear object such as a pool cue. These were associated with deep bruising to the chest wall, fractures to the right ribs, and lacerations to the right kidney and his liver, which had been split in two. There were two linear fractures to the skull, also consistent with stamping. The appearance and distribution of these injuries, together with the absence of defense marks, would suggest that Mr. Robe sustained most of his injuries whilst lying on the ground, unable to defend himself. <laughs> the apparent lack of significant movement could indicate that he lost consciousness. Hey, come on, come here. Hey, stop, stop. Come here. Hey, look, look, come here. Come here. Come here. It's all right. Why have you sought to preserve the anonymity of witnesses C, D and E? Well, these people were in fear. I had to do my best to deal with that fear. And you believe that you have done so? I've done my best, sir. Will you look at the document being handed to you? This was given to the defence along with the other prosecution evidence. It's a document prepared by you? It is, sir, yes. And tell me if you can see at the bottom of each page what in word processing terms is called, I believe, a footer. 
Yes. Am I right in believing that these footers contain the names of certain individuals? Yes. Are the names the real names of witnesses C, D, and E? Yes, sir, they are. Dozy wanker! <laughs> Has it not always been a nonsense, this pretense that the defendants do not know who the witnesses are? Tony, you don't know that it was you. But even if it was, you've been working flat out, you're knackered. It's a mistake anyone can make. However it happened, it's my responsibility. I'll explain to the Turks, OK? Hey. Hey. Look, Stop. Stop. I've just been talking to one of the lawyers. He says we're done for. Not necessarily. The Turks aren't going to go into the witness stand after this. Stuart, I'm really sorry, but I've been under a bit of pressure. You fucked it up. All this work and you fucked up the whole thing. Who made this mistake? You? Well, no, but not me personally. I. Tony? Look, you can imagine how he feels. Well, how he feels? What about us? Yoki, I've heard a policy more. Yeah, no, wait, 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 John, 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 can we just talk about this, please? Look, all these people are under arrest. They can't hurt you. What about their families? They huh? don't know where you are. And what's more, you can still have the screens. Domish, take a minute to think. If you walk now, if you quit, these kids will go free. I mean, is that going to make you feel safer, knowing they're out on the street again? Oh, piss off! I'm finished! Try and remember what's at stake here. Think about Jamie. Think about his family. Please. What will happen to Tony if you pull out? It's not good. Dayı, ne düşünüyorsun ya? Gidip her şeyi anlatacağız ama ne koyayım içeride. No, no, listen, just wait. Just give me one minute. Let's talk, please. Come on. It looks like we go ahead. You mean you're going to do it? We're going to give evidence, my friend. You never saw beating with sticks. You've invented saying that. I saw that. I never invented anything. I would not wish anything like that to have happened. I would not wish to be here as a witness. I pity for the boy who died. And I pity for the boys who killed him. <laughs> what purpose would I have to destroy life of the youngsters? To gain legal immigration status in this country. Yeah. If these people were as terrifying as you claim them to be, if they really had carried out this attack, why go to the shop? Why put yourself at risk? It was our business, our livelihood. Is it not rather a fact that you exaggerated your fear to gain sympathy and increase the chances of your uncle to gain legal status in this country? You are calling us liars, huh? You think we are liars? You think maybe because we are Turkish we are without honor? Is that what you're saying, huh? Is it not the case that you have put these people in the dock out of nothing more than self-interest? If that is what they believe, that is up to them. I am saying I saw how this boy was killed. I saw the blows raining down on him. That is what I saw. You look like you're going on a date with Bobby Williams. I feel like shit. Just stick to your guns. I wish I hadn't agreed to do this. You'll be all right. Tracy Bourne, witness in court number five. Thank you. Oh, my God. Where's she coming? Thank you. Straight down through there. OK. Let's go. We're going straight into court? No, we're waiting in the witness room. Good. Down for a fag. You going in? Going into blood sports. Well, you have a new home now courtesy of the Witness Protection Programme. They call it new. Well, it is new for you, is it not? It is a shit hole. Well, they've given you new appliances. We are told that they have spent a couple of thousand pounds furnishing it for you. I've got a single bed, a cooker, some carpet and a washer dryer. How does that come out to a couple of thousand pounds, huh? But life is better for you now than it was. No, it ain't. It's worse. Miss Broughton, you left home after the murder, did you not? Yeah. And one of the reasons for that was that your mother 
And your brother, Mark, could not stand you, could they? What's that got to do with you? The reason for that is that you are impossible to live with. You say so? You are, in fact, a delinquent. If you say so. A drug addict. Oh. Well, so I'm a drug addict now, am I? Lazy, foul-mouthed... Oh, fuck off! Miss Broughton, do try and keep calm. I know you might be finding this difficult. Yeah, I bloody well am! I ain't taking none of this! I'm off! Take me home! Come on, Tracy, just calm down! Piss me off! Look, we can go to the witness room and you can have a cigarette, all right? All right? Tracy, don't do this to us, eh? Not now. We've come so far. And we need you. I mean, we really need you. And don't forget what you kept telling us. It wasn't a fair fight. It was all of them against Jamie. It was unprovoked, it was, it was vicious and brutal. Are you going to be the one that lets I them get away with it? I can't go them? back in there! Tracy, just take a minute. Now, you've got to go back in there. You're doing brilliant. If he gives me any more bloody lip, I'll fucking have him! Tracy, don't rise to it. That's what he's going to do. You're the one in the oh, I know I'm not up there. <sighs> One of the defendants in this case, David Huggins, has an older brother called Danny, does he not? Yeah. You knew him well? Yeah. You have slept with him? Yeah, once. You could be in no doubt of who he was, could you? No. Then why did you tell the police that he was one of the murderers that night? Could I ask you to look at a statement that you gave to the police on the 24th of February, 1998? Would you give the witness a copy? Did you read this statement before you signed it? Uh-huh. Or could I now read you a particular sentence? Solomon and Cheesy, Aaron... David and Danny Huggins and Planky came running through the Osprey with snooker cues and cricket bats and things. You have put Danny Huggins at the scene of the murder, have you not? Yeah, but I corrected my statement later. I told them I put Danny there instead of Ryan Morville because he's only young and I felt sorry for him. You're a girl who is willing to sign a document that is full of lies. Yeah, so you keep saying. And so I keep telling you like a scratch CD, I told the truth in the end. I put it to you, if the police had not found Danny Huggins had a cast iron alibi, you would have him in the dock today. No, I wouldn't. You are, in fact, not only a wicked girl, you are a dangerous girl. So I'm dangerous now, am I? But if you do not like someone, you will have them up on a murder charge. I don't like you. I ain't got you in a murder charge, have I? Don't like my brother, but I ain't got him in a murder I, charge. I have asked you before, please try and control yourself. He makes me Mr. sick! Martin. He's meant to be a fucking barrister! Oh, fucking oh, Tracy, hold on! No, that's it! Let's just sit down and talk about it. Let's go! Look, it won't last much Don't longer. Don't give a shit, that's it! Tracy, please! No, fuck off! Tracy, wait! Tracy, where are you going? <laughs> you can't walk out now. No, try and stop me. If you quit now, what's it all been for? You lost your home, your brother's disowned you, you have had 18 months of misery. And for what? I don't know! What have I? Tell me! Because you've got a conscience! <laughs> Dozens of people saw that murder, but only you and a couple of others had the guts to come forward and say so! <laughs> If you quit now, I can't make this prosecution stick. And then those kids will be back on the street and God help this city. Fuck this, Ian! Fuck you! All right, get angry. I don't blame you. But don't let this go. You either go back in there and see this through, or you walk out and you live with the consequences for the rest of your life. I hate you. I'll live with it. Just go back in. Miss 
Broughton, I know that you are finding this difficult. You find Mr. Goldberg aggravating. But please try and keep calm, because the calmer you keep, the quicker this will be over. Mr. Goldberg. Miss Broughton, we have uh, established the nature of your friendships with various members of the Huggins household. Given as good as she gets, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's a disaster, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't say that. It's, um... And as the jury failed to return a unanimous verdict, the judge urged them to return a majority verdict, if they can. And for the family of Jamie Rope, who have fought so hard and waited so long, this represents a further agonizing delay. For everyone involved in this extraordinary case, they will have to spend yet another night waiting for the conclusion. And on the stock market today, shares rose sharply as news of yet another dot-com flotation. So, what counsel say? Having heard the evidence, Plank and Moorville were never there. Not involved. What about the others? Stuart! You ready? Thank you, Trust. Um, listen. If it goes against us, I know you did your best, Tony. Thank you. All rise. Members of the jury, will your foreman please rise? Do at least ten of you agree on verdicts in respect of all defendants on this indictment? Yes. In respect of the defendant Stephen Plank, do you find this defendant guilty or not guilty of murder? Not guilty. In respect of the defendant Ryan Morville, do you find this defendant guilty or not guilty of murder? Not guilty. In respect of the defendant David Huggins, do you find this defendant guilty or not guilty of murder? Guilty. In respect of the defendant Aaron Cole, do you find this defendant guilty or not guilty of murder? Guilty. In respect of the defendant James Pierce, do you find this defendant guilty or not guilty of murder? Guilty. and Ryan Morville were discharged. In 
the circumstances. Are you feeling, Mr. Rowe? Do you feel justice has been done? Are your family pleased with the result? Mr. Rowe! Mr. Rowe! Mr. Rowe! Mr. Rowe! Mr. Rowe! Mr. Rowe! The press office asked me to give you this statement. Okay, Mr. Chief, I'm not thinking of metropolitan police, I'm thinking of people who really did this. This case would never have come to court if it had not been for the efforts of one man, Tony Connors. My family and I would like to thank him and his colleagues for what they've done. We've proved that if you really want to, you can stand up against thugs and cowards. And we really hope that, that other people can learn from this. At the end of the day, we won. We won, Tony. We won. I hope so. I've just heard a contract's been taken out on Simon Hughes's life. For helping us? We've had to put him under 24-hour armed guard. It hasn't gone away, Stuart, not yet. This has cost you, mate, hasn't it? career ways. Family, marriage too, for all I know. Wow. What's that compared with having a child murdered? Well, I better go then. You are going to have to take all this down sometime, you know that, don't you? Can't live in a shrine, not forever. Time for a fresh start, eh, for both of us? I mean that. I know. still don't get it. We've been here hours, and we ain't caught one. The whole point of fishing isn't what you catch. It's to do right in the elements. 
putting your wits against a wild creature. Bollocks. It's all about patience, Jay. It's all about getting your arse numb, more like. So you don't fancy doing it again, then? I didn't say that, did I? Bloody hell, Dad. <laughs> All right, Stuart. Steady, steady, steady. Jamie. Hey, what time oh, do you call this boy? Here, come on. Grab, grab that camera there, Jeff. It's, it's tiny. Is it a fish? Look, I'm sorry, it's a Is it? Is it? <laughs> Brilliant. Got it? Yeah. Say whopper, Jeff. Whopper. I need to get the arm break, Kelly. I was only asking you. I was you. just down the pub, Mum. Yes, I know you was down the pub. You right, Mum? All right, Jay. You all right, Kel? What's that? A stiller. Oh, my God, you actually caught one? Of course. Well, I'm not cooking it. No, you're all right. That made me throw it back. Good. You got on all right, then? Yeah. That's great. Maybe you should do it again. Yeah, we're going to make it a regular thing from now on. Oh, right. Well, it's about time, eh? Oi, who said you could borrow this? Who said I couldn't? Oh, Jay, come here! Keith! Going to see Mum? Yeah, she's cooking me dinner. Alright. What are you up to? I'm going up to me, Sean Jess. Jess got me a bottle of that cheap scotch. Oh, yeah. It's for Nat. It's her birthday next week. Anyway, see you yeah. later, mate. Oh, Wayne, lend us a bus fare. Yeah, nice try. See you later. See you later. See you later. Yeah, I'll see you Scotch. I didn't open it, all right? I actually don't care who opened it. I want you to get him home and get him on that All right, bus. all right. Mum is going to go mad. Come on, mate, come on. <coughs> oh, what have you been playing at, really? <laughs> L-I-V, E-R-P, double O-L, Liverpool FC. Oi! <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, look at my sexy yeah, baby. Yeah, hey, he's he's you. Oh, baby. Baby. Look, you look fit for some Davy Loving, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. you reckon? Now I'm going to get some chicken. I'm hungry. What are you getting chicken for? You want me first, did you? Give us a bit. Give me a kiss first. Nothing to bang, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah, send that. Come on, now. Don't tease Come me. On. I'll have a look at you. Yeah, I'll save a bit for me, mate. <laughs> what? Jay, leave it. Look at the size here. Come to me if you want saying a bit bigger, yeah, babe? Oh, I didn't have that. Do you know what you just said? Say that again, mate. Say that again. Hey, bro, 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 bro. What do you say? What? What are you laughing at, mate? Yeah, mate why are you running up your mouth, like? Say that again. What are you saying, bro? Get off me. Come, Come on, mate. Come over here, then, mate. What's the matter with you? Pussy on, man. Let's look at you, bro. What do you think you're funny or saying? Hey, come on, step over the road, man. Do you have my birth, do you? You're right. Do you have my birth? Look at him, man. Jay. Jay, not here. Come on. What are you doing, man? Come on, mate. Say something. He's a pig, mate. That's what he is. He's a dirty bastard, bro. What's your problem? What's going on? What's your Oh, look at the kid. He's a dirty... Come on, Jay. What's wrong with you, bro? Come on, mate. Jay, not here. We've got to get out of here. We've got to get the bus, all right? Piss off. Wankers, yeah? Wankers, yeah? Where are you going? What the hell do you think you're doing? Jay, leave it. We've got to get out of here. We've got to get the bus. 
I will need to check the records all the same. I'm Stuart Roby. You've got my son here. Oh, yes, sir. Your family's just through there. Can you hold the mic? Please? Where's Jamie? I'd just like to hang on a minute. I'll get the doctor for you. Stuart. What's going on? What happened? See, I thought he was behind me. I didn't know they got him. I didn't know who got him. These lads. I don't know what you were doing up there that time of night anyway. I was bringing him home. He got a bit pissed up. Pissed? What do you mean, Jamie? He doesn't drink. No, he started in that scotch. I tried to stop scotch? it. Scotch? What are you talking about, George? Yeah, what are you talking about? Scotch? Mr. Rowe. What? What's happening? Mr. Rowe, I'm very sorry, but... He's dead, isn't he? I'm very sorry. Look, we did everything that we could for him, but... Witnesses. Question quite a few people, some of the local residents, uh, the officers are waiting on that as well. Do you know how many of these, uh, these boys there were? Several, but as to exactly how many of them, that was what I see. Oh my goodness. I'll get back to you. Ashford. Hello, Tony. How you doing? So, what's what? OK, we've got uh, a teenage lad from Catford, and just up the road with his sisters, drinking. His sister's boyfriend walking into a bus stop. You got a bit nippy with some local lads. Threw up in that doorway. And got killed for it? There's nothing exceptional in London these days, is it? He took a terrible beating by the sounds of it. Fists, feet, and he found uh, fragments of pork here and a blood here. What'd you reckon? Well, it's a busy street. Takeaway shop's still open. 
Pass us by, probably. Must have been a few local residents about. We should have more witnesses than we know what to do with. Oh, really? All over by the weekend, then. Well, there's got to be someone. Oh, yeah. You'd think so, wouldn't you? All these windows overlooking the whole place. I mean, there must have been a lot of noise, mustn't there? <laughs> yeah. Listen, I've got something. Can I have your name, please, madam? Carol Huggins. And do you live around here, madam? Yeah, just over there. Why'd you ask? Well, there was a murder committed on this estate last evening. Just wondered if you'd seen anything. Nah, sorry. I was in bed at the time. I didn't hear nothing, and I didn't see nothing. Yeah, about five years. So you know most of the faces on the estate, then, yeah? All right, Tim? Yeah, madam. Mate, how you doing? Well, if you do anything, give me a shout down the street. No, no, yeah. Good morning, madam. Mm. My name's DC Sharp of Shooter's Hill Police Station. I just wonder if you could help me. There's an incident happened of a murder just down by Lower, uh, lower Road. I just wonder if you could help me if you know anything that can help me at all. No. There must be something you heard or seen in the hour, early hours of the morning. Nothing. Any kind of information whatsoever? Nothing. You Nothing. sure? You sure? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, you're going to go and eat or what? No, I can tell you. A couple of burgers, eh? Cheese burgers. Hey, what are you up to, yeah? You like have to stay away from the city. What are you going to change? 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 He didn't see nothing because nothing happened. Can you give us actual names, sir? You can. Yes, in complete confidence. Okay, go ahead. John. Did you have a clear view? Tell me about the Osprey estate. Can you tell me about the Osprey Council estate. But they just spent millions on it, believe it or not. Security cameras, entry phones, you name it. So, mixture of typical Bermondsey working class, you know, families, couples, old people. What about Lola? Sorry, sorry about that. He's got his fair share. Some thieving, so mostly drugs. This wasn't thieving or drugs. This was a gang of teenagers beating an innocent kid to death for fun. Well, they may be kids, but they got older mates. You know, connections to all sorts of faces down there. I mean, you look at some of them the wrong way and... It's not going to be easy. You got sources over there? Yeah. You get me some names, ASAP. Your name's here, Tony? Yeah. Seems like half the estate knows who's done it. Did you know any of the boys that Jamie was arguing with? No. Can you give description? It was dark. It's a well-lit area. Mate. If I could help you, I would. What about the girl that was with him? Well, I told you she was wearing a white dress. That's all I saw. It wasn't my fault. I thought he was running too. I thought he was behind me. <laughs> 